Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Heavenly and on this channel I talk about everything. <laughs> but a lot of my content has to do with law of assumption and manifestation. So if you're interested in that type of content, then give me a like and hit the subscribe button. And we're gonna jump right into this video. So, number one important secret ingredient when manifesting is revision. <laughs> And you should do it on the spot. And if you can't do it on the spot, then you can wait till nighttime when you're in the bed and you can like do it in sets. But it's very, very important, y'all. Let me give y'all an example. So say for instance, you got a letter in the mail today and the letter was disappointing. Boom, stop yourself right there. Close your eyes and imagine the letter saying exactly what you wanted to say. Make the, co the letter conform to your um to your wishes to your desires so you're gonna close your eyes right there you're gonna imagine the letter saying what you wanted to say and you're gonna let it go because guess what this also will tie into my next secret ingredient but guess what the past does not exist and once you've gotten that letter and read it it's already in the past and the only way that you can creep keep creating that is by reliving the past in your mind because the past is a memory and the, a memory is an imaginal act so the only way to um, do that is through revision, to rewrite the script in your head to make it fit the desires that you have, to make it conform to your desires. That's it. And you could forget it and let it go. And literally, you just have to believe that your imaginal ex is real because like I said, the past does not exist. Time is not linear. There is no past, present, future. It's only the present. So in that moment, when you recreate it, you don't have to worry about reliving that past event that's gonna create more and more turmoil. And we don't have to worry about acknowledging and accepting the things that we don't want. As Soon as you see something that you don't want appear in your 3D reality, all you have to do is revise it, y'all. Literally. <clears throat> and that is so important because a lot of us hold on to past events and they cause a lot of things to manifest in our present reality that we don't want to see. Because we keep reliving these past events and we keep telling that story of those past events. And that's why it keeps perpetuating into our life. And that also, this is off topic. It's not off topic, but it's not my second secret ingredient. I just want to say this. When you are looking at those tarot readings, because I know they pop up on my 40, um, 40 page, on my little shorts page every day they pop up. And those things are literally just reading your thoughts. But they are just like anything else in your 3D reality. They're reflecting back to you what you're already thinking. So when you're looking at these um, tarot readings or whatever, and they're telling you that it's coming, it's on the way, that is creating a perpetual state of it coming and it being on the way. That's not you having it. And you're going to keep on having it coming and keep on having it being on the way and keep on getting ready and keep on waiting for something that you already have right now. Because we know in my other video, I talked about I am awareness. And I will link that right here if you don't know about I am awareness. Whatever you're aware of being, that's the only thing that you are. So if you're aware of something coming, guess what? It's going to keep coming. And you're never going to actually have it in the physical 3D form. It's always going to be coming. You're always going to be waiting on it. So this brings me to my number two. The number two thing is that I am is in the present, y'all. So stop waiting for this stuff to come. Stop always thinking that it's coming, it's coming, it's coming because that only creates a perpetual state of it coming. That is not the state of wish fulfilled. That is a state of resistance and that is a state of lack, all right? And it's so wonderful when you realize this stuff like, oh, all I gotta do is just trick myself into believing I already have it right now. So that means not doing anything that would say otherwise not looking for signs outside of yourself, not looking for the 3D to conform, but being actually happy in the present moment right now is what's key and important to manifesting these things, y'all. You got to believe that you already have it. You got to know that I am that I say I am. And we all know if we took English class that I am is present tense. So that means you have it now and that means you're living in the present. It, it doesn't mean that you're waiting on something in the future. It doesn't mean that you're looking forward. Yes, not that. It doesn't you are looking forward to it, but you're not waiting. You're you're expecting it, but you're not waiting on it. You get what I'm saying? So like same thing. You know how you feel when you expect some mail. You just expect it to come, but you're not standing outside the mailbox waiting on the, the UPS man to drive by every day. 
okay? But you still expect it. Expect the things that you want to happen, but do not rely on them and do not rely on waiting. You're gonna you're gonna always be waiting if you're waiting, okay? Um, yeah, but you're always gonna be waiting and you do not want to be in that state. Claim it right now, y'all, and understand this. You have been running on a program for so long. You have been running on the same story for so long. So stop trying to rush the process, y'all. And just think about it. If your brain is already programmed on that program, you need to reprogram the brain or the mind and put it on another program that says, I have it right now. All right? And persist. Y'all be giving up too easy. You have to persist. You don't You don't give up when you think it's a story that you don't want to think. You don't give up with that. So why not not give up with the thing that you want? Because it's not easy. And everybody wants to do what's easy. Nobody wants to do what's hard. Nobody wants to stay disciplined. Everybody is running off of motivation. They're not running off of discipline. Because when motivation runs out, only thing you're going to have left, left is discipline. So get your mental diet in order. Discipline yourself. Discipline your thoughts to create the things that you want right now. Don't be disciplining them to believe that is coming. Don't be disciplining them to believe that it's never going to come or believe that you're never going to get it. Stop d disciplining your thoughts like that and start creating discipline in the things that you want to see. You have to have a positive attitude. You have to have an optimistic attitude, not a pessimistic attitude. And you, when you look back on the things that you've manifested in the past, look at how you were living and how you were thinking and feeling before it happened. I guarantee you, you were not in a state of lack. You were not, probably not even worried about it. You were not desperate. You were not needy. You were not resisting. Because also, trying not to think about something is also resisting. Do not resist your thoughts, y'all. Do not resist your feelings. You do not have to be perfect in this because we are all humans. We're going to have feelings. And it's not about being in this state of wish fulfilled 24 7 obviously old thoughts and assumptions will come up but it is about you being able to stop them right there on the spot revise and make your thoughts and feelings conform to the things that you want that is literally all about because that will become your dominant assumption and we all know that dominant assumptions manifest our reality all right so yeah two very very important things y'all revision and living in the present, knowing that I am that now. I am that now. And revision will literally get you anything that you want in this life. Practice it. Try it. Let me know how it works out for y'all. And leave me some comments. And I love you guys. See y'all. <laughs>